Hi. My name is Amy. Today I will give you a short introduction about the business configuration of SAP Business by Design. You will learn how the system is initially deployed with the desired business functionalities, and how it can be configured for customer-specific needs. All configuration activities of business by design are managed through the Business Configuration Work Center. Here we can create projects to perform the initial implementation activities or manage relevant changes to the current configuration options. Each project can have two levels of configuration. When editing the project's scope, we can add or remove large sets of functionalities, like marketing, purchasing and project management, and we can change significantly the behavior of the existing features, like adding an approval workflow for the sales quotes. Let me show you. As you can see above, changing the scope is easily done through six steps. In this first step we can add additional countries. When we add a country, the predefined localization will be deployed into our system, so that operations can be compliant with the related legal requirements. When you are configuring the system for the first time, in the second step you can decide to deploy the complete solution, or only some part of it. At step 3 we can select the main software components or application areas we want to include in our scope. For example we could be interested in the marketing area but maybe not in all the features of the campaign management topic. We could have sales. And for sure we could be interested to sell our products and services. But maybe we don't want to use customer contracts to track our sales agreements. On the right side of the screen you can get additional info about the option. Some configuration options are dependent from others therefore these can be automatically selected from the previous choices you have made. You can check the dependencies in the specific tab. Some options are supported by external solutions you can download from the SAP store. For example, the standard communication and information exchange features of SAP Business by Design can be enhanced by the iMeet add-on. Step 4 is presenting some business-related questions for each topic you put in scope. The answers we will provide to such question will influence the behavior of the system with regards to the features and functions of the related topic. For example, we select the shopping cart topic of the self-service procurement scenario. And here we get a list of questions refining the process design. For example we can decide to use recommended items. When we add something to the current scope, the relevant configuration elements are prepared for deployment. And when we confirm the changes in step 6, the runtime system configuration gets updated with the new features. Step 5 is to review the changes that we have carried out. The new configuration is described in the solution proposal document, that can be generated with a click on this link here. As you can see this is a sort of application blueprint for your system. The system has captured the relevant configuration info and described them in a very detailed document. Each selected features is explained so that the processes in scope are fully described. When pressing the finish button, the new configuration profile is checked and finally deployed into our solution. After the solution scope has been updated, we can complete the configuration in the activity list. All relevant configuration options are organized according to the implementation phase when these are to be executed. For example, during fine-tuning we can adapt the settings for approval workflows, set up the organizational structure and the chart of accounts. In the integrate and extend phase, we can execute data migration of master and transactional data. For example we can define our product categories. The execution of data migration is supported for most of the objects, by a powerful migration tool. Each phase is concluded when the related milestone is confirmed. Here we have an example for the Go Live acceptance. After testing we can confirm that we are ready to go live. And finally, in the Go Live phase we confirm the Go Live, and close the implementation project.